And it is actually partnerships, but CCs are okay. Uh, okay, you don't like CCs as much as partnerships. Interesting. Partnerships are actually a bit more I difficult. Prefer, I, for some reason, I prefer partnerships. Okay, that's good. Um, if you do like the partnerships better, then um, you should get the more difficult questions right. The the the, the, the um, what we did earlier, the goodwill, all of that stuff. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Let's look at the CC. I'm only looking at this, so don't worry about the rest. Save yourself time in the exam. Don't do all of it if you don't need to. Okay. So I've read it. Um. I don't need this. I don't need that. I don't need that. Loans to members. A loan to would be an asset. Okay, I've got loans to H and I've got loans from. Loans from would be a liability, ignore it. Land and buildings, I need it. Okay, that I can put. Let me put the mountain as well just to insert the figures, then we can just work it out. Okay, 8.25 million and the loan to H was 1312500. Okay, great. What else? Equipment. Okay, equipment at cost was one seven eight one two five zero. Okay, accumulated depreciation means minus. So subtract. Accumulated depreciation three hundred thousand. Okay, trade receivables. Trade receivables four nine two one nine five. Okay, um, bank. 80625. Investment in L. Investment we would assume long term, unless told otherwise. Okay, investment in L was one and a half. Okay, inventory first March. Okay, inventory we don't show the opening stock, we show the closing stock. So we don't need that figure. Allowance of credit losses. We would take off our debtors, uh, thirty-seven five hundred. Settlement discount granted. You wouldn't show that in the statement of financial position. Okay, provision must still be made for depreciation. Okay, so I need to work out more depreciation. Uh, for what? For equipment. Okay, so where's my equipment? There's my equipment. All right, that's my carrying value. Okay, times twenty percent. Okay, included in the equipment at cost account is a machine which was purchased on the 1st of September. Ooh. Okay, so I have to adjust my opening balance. Okay, and immediately put into use. The machinery is depreciated 16% straight line. Okay, no other purchases. Okay, fine. So, um, this balance here, okay, do you agree... That balance is for the end of the month, end of the year, 28 Feb. Do you see that? Equipment cost yes. 28 Feb. It's at the end. So that means um, that's at the end. So the end would have included this machine. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I need to take that out. 137250, close brackets. Okay. Once I've taken it out, then I've got the existing machinery. Then I'll take out the depreciation and I'll multiply it by 20%. Okay, then I'm going to subtract depreciation on the new equipment. Okay, so the new equipment times uh, 16%. Okay, times um, how many months? Okay, so I bought this when? September. When is the month in? February. Okay, so September, October, November, December, January, February. How many months do you count? So, sorry, wait, from September, September to Feb. September, Six. Six, I agree. Okay, equals. All right, there's our first answer. Ooh, it's not working out. Oh, because of this. Times. Times 20%, times 20%, times 20. Okay, enter. Nope, still not working. Oh, percentage sign. Doesn't like it. 0 0.2. 0 0.16. Why? Come on. 
times 20%. Uh, that is 0 0.2, hey? What's wrong with this thing? Enter. Uh, something wrong with this. Um, oh, maybe there's a missing bracket. Ah, that's why. Come on. 20% times 0 0.20. Uh, what's wrong with this? Minus, this will be the depreciation. That minus that, minus that, times that. Uh, I have no idea. Bracket. Oh. Looks like we have to do this manually. Okay. Okay, there's the cost minus the accumulated depreciation. Okay, this is the calculation for the existing assets depreciation. Why? It's still not working it out. 300,000. No, man. What's wrong with this? Is there something wrong with my formula? I can't see anything Cost wrong. Cost minus accumulated depreciation. I'll oh, I think, you, a I, think, I think you need an extra bracket there. Ah, yes. thanks. There we there go. We okay, existing. <laughs> okay, and then new. All right, let's try to do the new. Okay, where's the new? Here's the new. Okay, great. And then we can just plug that in. So this that's obviously the working. Um, so my disclosure would be this minus that minus that gives me that figure. Okay, all right, that's point number A. Point number B, a debtor who owes the business is declared insolvent. So write off 33,295. An allowance for credit losses must be adjusted to Okay, my allowance was 37. Okay, what am I going to do? I'm going to... Oh, actually, I don't, have, I don't have to adjust it. Do you agree? I can just put in the answer. Does that make sense? Because it's disclosure. I don't need the other half. Does that make sense? Um, can you just say that part again? Okay, I'm so just going to show... I'm going to show what the allowance must be instead of showing yes, the... Yes, two, three. The, the adjustment. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, because remember, I don't need the income statement stuff because I'm only looking at financial position. Does it make sense? Yes. Okay, so I don't need that adjustment part. That's why I'm just showing it. Does it make sense? Yes. Okay, just to save time. Okay, you can do it the long way, but it's not necessary. Okay. Interest must still be provided for on the loan account to members at that figure. Okay, so... Loans to... Okay, no additional loans were granted for, all loans are secured and immediately callable. Okay, they don't say you have to add it to the balance. It's not capitalized. So if it's not capitalized, it'll be seen as accrued interest on loans to members. Okay, that interest figure is going to be the interest the, the loan amount, so 1312500 times 15%. Uh, okay, that one's complete. The investment in S, 50,000 ordinary shares bought for that figure, was acquired in Feb. It was a listed company. The investment was required for trade purposes. 28 Feb, the fair value investment amounted to 1.8. Okay, so you're just going to show it at 1.8 where's my investment in here investment in s this was for trade purposes do you see that yes so that means short term okay this is for s though hold on i had a investment in l didn't i okay this is a different investment do you see that yes 
This was so L. This is S. So this is actually a new investment. Okay, the investment in S is just going to be 1.8. That's it. All right, the closing inventory was that figure. There we go. Closing inventory, 189375. Okay, now we can just wrap up. Okay, very big numbers um, adding up. Okay. All right. Seven, teen. Which one of the following alternatives represents the correct amount disclosed as non-current assets? Non-current assets, I've got a much bigger amount. Let's see the current assets. I've got a much smaller amount. Okay, so there's a problem. Okay, I've got uh, disclosure-wise, I think they've put something somewhere else. I think the investment in S. Investment in S looking... is... Short term. So they spec oh, okay. Uh, the investment in S was for trade purposes. Do you see that? Yes. That's the investment in S. There was an investment in L here. Okay. What else did you have? That was it. that was it. Okay, so um, all I can think of is maybe the loan to member. Uh, the loan might be short term. Let's just check that. Where's the loans? Here. Yes, all loans are unsecured and immediately callable. There we go. That's short term. Immediately callable means short term. Okay, that, that needs to go here. Delete. All right, um, I think the, the investment in L, maybe they've put that as short term as well because we, we still don't have an option. Do you see that? Yes. Okay, so let's take the investment in L. Let's move it down. Okay, let's update our answer. Okay. All right, I, I'm happy with the non-current assets. 9451470. Do you see that? Yes. Okay, this is option, option three. 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 What question was this? 17. Okay. All right, then we've got current assets. Current assets? Ooh. Quite different, actually. Um, this investment in L, if I delete it, what do we get? Ooh, okay. Do Option you see? Four. I see errata. I see errata here. I see errata here. Do you see it as well? Um, if you had to take out the loan from H, just to see if you still get an option. No, you can't take out the loan from H. Because the loan from H okay. is immediately callable. It must go there. Oh, okay. You can't okay. take that out. Have yeah, a look. All loans are unsecured and immediately callable. Okay. okay I see that. All right. The problem yeah. with the question is S limited here and L limited there. There's errata here. Okay. This information should have pertained to that over there okay so you bought this previously okay it's now worth 1.8 million okay this this should have this should have been s limited as well or this should have been l limited either or 
But this invest, there is only one investment. It, it isn't two investments. Do you see that? Yeah. Okay, because when I have two investments, I get that answer. That's not an option. Do you see that? Yes. Okay, when I eliminate this one, because this came out of the question, that was from the disinformation. Then I get option four. Okay, there's definitely a right for that one. Okay. All right, so the investment in L is the investment in S. Okay, because if I show it, I obviously don't get the right answer. Okay, uh, let me actually just show it as well. Why not? Let me just copy paste. Uh, investment in L. And that was the 1.5 million. All right, and obviously not an option. Okay, all right, so there's definitely a problem here.